all set. Uh, we're going to call the Thursday, July 19th meeting of the panel select board to order at 7 p.m. Uh, for agenda approval, public comment, approval of the minutes, warrants, mail, town administrator report, old business. Uh, we have an IT report uh, from Chuck Watson to do with phones and stuff, appointing planning commission member, municipal website content, uh, policy, uh, board project lists. Uh, then we're going to do a gravel purchase and truck traffic, South Stream and Barbers Pond Road. Uh, we got somebody's going to bring us up to date on some of the town hall information. And then we're going to do personnel. But before I ask for a motion to approve that, I'd like to introduce our new uh, town administrator, Michael Walker, nice to meet you. Uh, who's been with us for a week. So he'll be giving us a report down the line here of all the great things he's been uh, finding out the, <laughs> for the first week. <laughs> And, uh, but if anybody wishes to meet, meet him, he will be at the Pano Valley Fair this weekend from 11 to 1. Uh, that's this Saturday, July no, no, 28th. No, no, next no, Saturday. No, next Saturday. Next yeah. Saturday, July 28th. I'm sorry. Yeah, my dates are all mixed up as usual. Uh, but again, Pano Valley Fair, 11 to 1 on Saturday, July 28th. So it'll be next Saturday. If you wish to meet him in person and have a discussion with him, of course, he's around the office and around town otherwise. But uh, he'll be there that day as well. And with that, I'll take a motion to approve our agenda. Motion to approve. Second. Anything to be added? Uh, you mentioned gravel purchase. Gravel purchase okay. personnel. Okay, perfect. Anything else? Very good. And we've got the town hall information. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, do we have anybody here for public comment this time? Uh, approval of the minutes of 712. So uh, seconds amended with the minutes. How do we you want to amend it? Yes. Yeah. What, what would you like to amend? The um, the Office of Secretary of State, the letter that was received by them that they sent was anonymous. It was not signed. Oh, so you want to you know, make an amendment to, uh, I want to the, the minutes to state that it was an anonymous letter? Correct. Okay. I get a second to the amendment. Would the amended uh, minute? Uh, yeah. All those in favor of the amendment say aye. Aye. All those approving the the minutes with the amendment say aye. Aye. I have to abstain. Aye. I wasn't here. So we have three. Aye. Okay. Uh, moving on to warrants. <coughs> Payroll ending 7 20, 2018 in the amount of. Ten thousand four hundred ninety dollars and sixty-four cents. Accounts payable ending seven twenty eighteen in the amount of nineteen thousand two hundred seventy-six dollars and eighteen cents. And part of that is the let's see what we got on here. BCRC. Uh, Yearly dues of five thousand twenty-three. Partial, I think that is. Might be all of it. Uh, the other is Santex, which is, does the testing over at our transfer station for four thousand seventy. And then the IRS, they're almost four thousand dollars. That's pretty much what that is. Get a motion to approve those. So moved. Second. Any discussion on any of them? All those in favor say aye. 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 Abstentions, nays. May I make a motion to turn the air conditioning off? Yes. I was going to do that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's the noise as much as anything else. Yeah, it's a good background. <coughs> okay, and now uh, I'm in the mail. Okay. Planning uh, commission requests. We have two people who have requested to be on the planning commission. How many openings do we have? Do we know? One at this One. time. One. Okay, so uh, Megan Randall and the other person is John Bashi. Uh, Mr. Bashi is here tonight. Do you wish to make any statement to the board before we do any appointments? Yeah, I guess you can say something. Want to come up here? Sure. Tell us why you want to be on the planning commission. Well, uh, I'm just talking about it and I wanted to uh, get on it because of uh, I just think I could help out with the town. As far as the plan goes, I mean, I've lived here all my life. Um, grew up here, watched things happen, changes and stuff like that. So um, I'd like to get some knowledge of what I've grew up doing into it and see what we can 
accomplish. Hopefully we can make things happen. Let's keep the town moving in the direction it is trying to move. And your background is in the, you run businesses? Mm -hmm. and, and are you involved in the rental properties too as well? So that you have uh, interest, the housing yeah. experience around town? Yeah, I've had some rentals of my own. I've built, dealt with them since I was 10 years old with my mom and dad, and they've had rental properties. and. Oh, so, so you understand some of, because that's one of the things people talk about is the housing mm -hmm. in town and the planning commission and then businesses of course economic development is the other one yeah that's big and I, I had a uh, tree service and landscaping business for 19 years when I, for, as soon as i got out of college i started that so okay. been in business pretty much most of my life and what's your degree in uh recreation majors were actually what i did in recreation and business okay because recreation is the other big thing in our mm -hmm. town plan. Uh, any questions from uh, any other board members? None. Any comments or anything from anybody? Okay, what's your pleasure, board? You got two people to choose from. What do you want to do? Need a motion to, to how, do, how do we How do we want to go about, about the process? Well, the board moves to a point, usually. Okay. Can, can I ask a question? Sure. Yeah. I don't know, um, have, have both candidates submitted written statements to the board in terms of their qualifications or their interest or, or I have, not? I or have one just... from Mr. Bashi and the other one I have is from Megan. So, so you have a statement from her about her? Yeah, Mike, so, Slatter, Mike Slattery suggested I reply for the Planning Commission as a current member is soon to resign. Please accept my formal application. That was Mike Slattery? That was Megan, Megan Randall. Randall. Megan Randall, okay. Megan Randall, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, the other one was to whom it may concern from Mr. Bashi. I am writing to it in regards to the empty seat on the planning board. I'm in interested in the empty seat. Please let me know what I need to do to apply for that seat. Okay, so uh, Megan Randall did not send any statement in, in terms of her qualifications, interests, no, normally we don't have, people don't. There's, oh, okay. there's not a formal. But did she know that this meeting was being held tonight to determine? I guess yeah, because that, she, oh, she, I she sent a message uh, asking, I don't know if she sent it to me or to the board, uh, whether, maybe Mike actually forwarded that to me, but, but basically asking when we were going to move on this. But she didn't necessarily know it was on the agenda tonight? Okay. It's, a, it's on the agenda, it's been posted all week, so. Mm -hmm. It's in, it goes in the newspaper, so it's yes, it's out there. It's been posted. People know. Okay. Uh, the real question comes okay. down to, you know, uh, I I know a little of uh, Megan. I don't know a lot. I know she was a teacher, uh, and that part I know her father lived here in town, built here in town, uh, here, and I think some of her family is here. Her sister lives here her as well. Her sister lives here. So She's so there's on the uh, Paolo proud little. Campaign. Yeah. But I, I guess I was asking the question because it only seems fair if two people applied, then two people get heard. Well, the only reason why she, we're here in Mr. Bashi tonight is because he happens to be here. Right, and I didn't know <laughs> if she had the opportunity to be Otherwise, here, so. we'd be making a decision without right. hearing from him either. Right, okay. Because we normally calmly, right. normally we get this and then we make our decision. Mm -hmm. and, and you usually, do you get a recommendation from the Planning Commission itself? Because when I was on the Planning Commission, that's how it happened. But I know, I know we have in the past, but it's not a... But they did not make <clears throat> a recommendation. Okay. Well, it, I'm not going to say they made a recommendation or not, because I don't recall, but, but the bottom line is it's up to the select board to appoint right. the Planning Commission, yeah. but, as it is the DRB. Right. Uh, and it's, and it, from my point of view, we wanted the diverse group of people right. on this yes. planning commission. It's pretty diverse right now. You know. Yeah. And Ronnie, you're right. Mr. Bushiri. I'm going to uh, just push on, uh, um, also point out that she I got did. A mo I got a motion. I got to see if I get a second. Get a second for appointing Mr. Bushiri. I'd like to speak on it. Well, you make a motion and we're going to okay. have a discussion. Okay. You're going to second it? I'm not. I'm not. No. Right. There's no second on the motion. I wanted. To, I still wanted to have more discussion. Go ahead. Um, because as much as I like you, you know that. Um, but Megan did apply the first time around, and there were four people that applied, and three were appointed. So this is the second time that Megan has put her name in. <clears throat> so she's clearly very motivated to be on it. So I just, you know, I want want to remind us that she was, and there was a motion for her last time around. 
and it was outmotioned. It wasn't bo keep voted for, is what you're saying? Not outmotioned, but the, the vote was called and there was a no vote? No, another motion was, I don't remember exactly, another motion was made and then it was um, seconded. There were four of us, this is the one I was saying, and then two people voted on that. Two and two, so it, so it didn't pass, is basically what you're saying. Well, Michelle Peckroll passed, and um, it was Michelle, Barbara, and um, who was the third one that went on at that time? Fred Miller. <clears throat> and uh, Fred and Barbara passed, and then um, we were talking, I was pushing for Megan, it was motioned for Michelle, Michelle was put on with two votes. Okay, so they went... And Megan was... Well, I just three votes. It had to be three votes. I was here, and I was, I'm going to say I voted yes, even okay. if I not in my head. You can count the way you I, want, I, but I'll I, look at it. Okay. Because I would have said no for sure if it was if I was against that, and I wasn't. But uh, I'm just reminding us that Megan was also on yeah. the table at that time. That's all. But it went 2-2 two, two with what was here, is what you're saying. So, so it didn't carry. Uh, so it didn't carry, but somebody got appointed? I, I'm not Nobody sure. got it. No. Auditors got appointed. She's mixing it. It wasn't planning. I'm not commission. mixing it up. We had auditors. <laughs> you are because the auditors Michelle was the things that the we moved on. She's on the planning commission. And then we did the other. Now there were there were two. There, that were two I'm not mixing it up. There were two completely different things. We appointed two auditors at that meeting, yep. and we appointed three planning commission people at that meeting. Okay. Um, the and two auditors were the only ones who put in their names to be auditors. Four people put their names in to be on the planning commission, and three were appointed. So I'm just reminding that Megan had put her name <coughs> in at that time. All right. That's what I'll, that's all I'm reminding. I'm not actually saying anything else. I'm not confusing anything. I'm not. Well, you made it sound like that the vote wasn't carried properly, and the vote was carried properly. I am just stating how the vote went. I'm not actually saying anything about how the how, how it was voted. I'm just saying it was Ron and Bob voted for Michelle. I did not vote. Uh, you may, you I maybe voted. nodded. Okay, I voted. but but that's not my but point. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying that there were. The so four, there four three positions, four people applied. Four people here and three voted yes, and the other one didn't. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, where it was. But the point I'm making is okay. not about how that vote went. The okay. point I'm making is that four people applied, there were three positions. And Megan was the one that applied and that was not appointed to that position. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Well, at this point, what I've got is a motion without a second. So, so it sounds like this isn't moving tonight. I'll motion for Megan. Well, could, could I, have, I still have another Much chance as I love to speak. You, Bob, oh, go ahead. I still have another chance to speak. Yeah, go ahead. Speak. So, so <laughs> I want to explain how I feel about this. Okay, I know both of them. I know, I know John well. Um, I know, I know, and I appreciate the fact that both of them have had input into our new town plan. I, I appreciate the fact that they have both showed interest in boards. I know we've put John on the DRB. <clears throat> My thought was. Um, to find a balance. Um, you're on the DRB, we put you on there for it. Um, I think it's, I think she's, she's, I think Megan's really worked hard to be involved. She's attended a lot of meetings. I'd like to see her on the board also. Um, that's my thought. Okay. And uh, with that being said, I was, I'd like to make a motion that we appoint uh, Megan Randall to the Planning Commission. Yeah, I need a second for I that. I will second it. Okay. And I have a second for that. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Ronnie? I made a motion already for somebody. So well, so you're, no. so you're saying no to this yes. one. Okay. okay. And, and I'll pay, I'll do the aye. So three votes are on the register. Okay. And I hope you get that this is, you know, I have only the most respect. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> we could so we very well have more positions <laughs> opening up there. <laughs> That's all right. I want to see you on this. <laughs> okay. So now, right. moving on in the mail. Thank you, John. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have a, a letter from, uh, well, actually, it's not on hold anymore. It was to, to do with the solar. And basically, they sent down today the, our lawyer has with the changes and stuff for the lease agreement to do with the Pondle Transfer East solar. Uh, what's your pleasure, guys? So, just so we're all on, on the same page, we have two parcels over there. We're going to call one east and one west. No, east, and I forget what they called the other one. They have a different one, and I just threw all that stuff okay, away. Okay, I wasn't at the meeting last week. That's the only reason why I asked. No. At one time, there was some confusion, but they had it split into two parcels. Yeah, and I don't right. know what the... Yeah. So was the east one was, was uh, qualified as a cat landfill. The other one is a brownfield. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And this they're, working lease on, they're working on both of them, but they got the go ahead on the east one. The cap one. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So are we calling them East and Brown? Is that? When the next one comes in, I know, have a name on At one point, we had some discussion. There was some confusion on That's the only yeah. reason well, why I'm asking. Well, let me, let me tell you that this is to do with the east, which is the cap piece of property on the, on the Greg, transfer I station. I understand now. Whatever they're going to call the other one when we get the lease, we'll know what it is. Okay. If we wish to okay. sign it or don't sign it. Very good. Okay. So, what I need is a motion to sign this one, which is the final transfer east. So moved. Yeah. Second. Okay. I have a question. Go ahead. Because I was at the meeting the last time when Green Lantern was here. Yeah. And <clears throat> is this the one that had the two different clauses that were being under uh, under consideration? Yes. And okay. uh, in what way did those two And both two of, of them were agreed to. Are put on in both parties? Oh. By both parties. Oh, okay. That's why okay. That's why it's ready to be signed tonight. Okay. One was for the the... Let me find the exact wording. But it was to do with the prepayment. There's a second one that yes. had the... Tenant shall also pay to owner a security deposit in the amount of one year base rent. Right. That was one of the arguments. And which way did that end up going? At gone. It's in here. Is it's it the part way of the, you part wanted of the, it? Part of the the way we wanted right. it. The other was to do with uh, the, the discussion last week. There was a lot of other little changes they made, but they were more of uh, not to do with... Uh, Concerns that uh, we would have been more concerned about. But there was one to do with signing. Did I find the right thing? And it basically was it gives us the right to choose who's going to purchase it if yeah. it changes hands. Is yes. That yeah, there was a wording okay. the opposite. Without, uh, if there's, it was. Um, to do with reasonable denial. Right, yeah. But yeah. It, they, they used a term. And that, they agreed to. Correct. Oh, okay. They agreed to our the, the terms that we wanted. Okay. That's what I was wondering. No. So the the things we sent them away with were okay. added, okay. were put in. Okay. Any other questions, concerns? I'll call the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> So carried. Uh, there's a whole bunch here that's got to be filled out to do with the day that this is being signed and notarized. Uh, the board has approved the signature of this. I would like to take a motion that we authorize our town manager to sign this with the clerk or, or Linda to notarize. So moved. Because then it could be done all in the same Super time. Super great. Got a motion, get a second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 So this is in your hands, Michael? Yes, sir. And if the state or somebody wishes to have my signature, they can have it as well. But let's uh, get it so that the, we get more of this stuff passed on to you. Okay. And I have a thing from the Brattleboro Development Credit Corp uh, newsletter to do with uh, Mount Snow. And this date on this. Usually we get these after they've been held. 717. What's today's date? 18. <laughs> okay. Thank you. It's even the 19th. Thank you. Is it the 19th? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. I'm behind. I don't know. I thought it was Sunday, so. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've lost the whole week, so I don't know. Okay, BCRC, July meeting, Thursday, July 26, starting at 5 30 p.m. And it's going to be at the Shaftesbury State Park Group Picnic Pavilion. And this is the one where our town plan and stuff is going to be talked about. We went over it last week that some members of the select board should be there and members of the planning commission should attend also, just in case there's questions about our town plan. Okay, so if you wish to go, go. This is normally when their uh, wastewater meeting is normally, so we won't have a meeting. So. If you wish to attend, please go there. I am not available. Okay. How are you doing? Question. I was going to ask, Ron, you're on the Planning Commission, right? Yeah. So do you know if anybody from there is going? Mike Slattery is. Okay. And Michael just said he's going. Okay. He's going. So. 
Everybody's named Mike around here. <laughs> never had enough of it. <laughs> never had enough Mike. So. Never had enough. <laughs> We're to be shared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and moving on. Uh, got a, another one for October 1st at Castle University. And this is to do with, it says, making it happen for local leaderships for the future community developments in Vermont. Uh, skills workshop for community success story panels, group dialogues, leadership fair. And this is to improve economy and quality of life in the communities, which is another thing that people wish to attend. And What's the date on that again? October. October, October 1st. And it is 2018. So we got it ahead of time. <laughs> okay, moving on. Town administrator report. Floor is yours. Our first, Sir, our first one. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I first want to thank everybody for the welcome. I've never been anywhere and received the kind of welcome I've, I've had here. I deeply appreciate all the kindness, and I deeply appreciate you. Uh, choosing me to be the town administrator and know that I'm going to put every effort into doing the right things for the town of Pounder. So thank you. Uh, I wanted to touch a little bit on uh, now that we're operating with the town administrator, me. I spoke to staff. We'll be meeting, all staff will be meeting briefly here at 9 a.m. on Tuesdays so we can look across the table, talk to each other on a variety of subjects, hoping we can share information, share resources, and then go forward uh, knowing what those resources are. Uh, coming to the board, this is this is a huge change for you folks too, as I'll be coming in and making these reports and sort of con condensing uh, what the report is to you. I'll be working things out with the departments and identifying the direction we want to go in. But I want to make sure that you understand you have the right and, and anytime we want to see anything in the deepest of detail, Absolutely. All the detail will be here. But generally, I'll come in and I'll say, you know, this is what we discussed, this is the options we had, and this is where I recommend to go. And again, as much or little information that you want, <clears throat> you want uh, on top of that, that's up to you. So, and and I, 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 uh, if, that's, if that's acceptable to you, that's, that's how I intend to operate. If you have any questions on that or modifications, I'd be happy to. Well, let, let me uh, make a comment. The what we used to do is have monthly meetings with like our road crew or our transfer station person or others. Now, I'm assuming that if things were at the level where we need that person here as well, you would bring in them, would you, when you're talking Absolutely. about one of the sub subject matters? I'm glad you brought that up. Otherwise, uh, we really don't need them in here if you're giving us a report. We don't need to hear it twice. Right. That's where I'm coming from. Yeah. But if there was something of importance, you'll make sure that they're here as well. Absolutely. And when I spoke to them, I said, look, you're not only a work here, you're a citizen. You have every right to be here. And if I'm speaking on a subject that affects you, absolutely be here and we'll work as a team. Uh, I don't want anybody to think that I'm you know, trying to out, uh, outshine anybody or do anything on my own. Everybody's welcome to come. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate the question. Um, moving on. Uh, I've rewritten job descriptions and uh, sent them out to departments and uh, we're going to meet with everybody sometime next week and discuss those and they'll be brought back here for your review. So th they were done. Uh, I've drafted a social media policy. I've given one to Chuck, our IT person, and given one to the attorney. I have them here for your consideration. It's not for a vote. This is something that has to be digested. And at your leisure, you can come back and, and we can talk about it. You can email me with particular questions and you can vote on it at your convenience. Uh, wanted to make sure that you, that you have to appoint a administrator of, of social media, and that would be me. And you have to define what social media is for the town. Uh, my recommendation would be the website, newsletter, and email. And you, that's, that would be our only uh, source from the town, the town sponsored, town owned, and that's where official information would be disseminated. If you want another, you want Facebook, Twitter, any of the other social medias, that's, that's, that's up to you. And uh, welcome that. And I'll pass these down, Ron. 
Uh, what's next? I also wrote a conflict of interest and a ethics policy. This too is something not to be rushed. This is the, something that needs to have questions asked. It's to run through the attorney. It has been sent to the attorney. And we all get together and you have questions, you want changes, by all means, please do that. And I'll pass those down as well. You've been here for four days. <laughs> Amazing. Sounds busy. <laughs> I have no life. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. Thank you. Uh, Next issue, one the report that we did receive, $11,189 under the timber sale fund, this payment in lieu of taxes. Uh, I also want you to know that there was a class action suit uh, filed that uh, reportedly said that the towns did not receive enough or uh, the fair share of that payment in lieu of taxes. That was signed and sent to, to, the, to the suit and to the attorney. The uh, downside is we won't get anything. The upside is if we re owed money, we'll get money. So that's being done. Uh, as I promised, uh, every week I'll be given a budget report and uh, revenue and expenditures report. I'm, it's not startling. It's the first week of the budget year. Uh, our revenues to date have been 0.88%, and we haven't sent out taxes yet, so that's uh, on the low side. For our general fund, and our general fund uh, expenditures, I can reach the page quickly. <coughs> 6.1% of the general fund budget has been spent to date. Uh, road revenue, we've received 3.32%. And of that, we spent 2.88% uh, of, of that budget. Uh, fiscally, moving forward, I want to get a good grasp, everybody get a good grasp of what these line items are, forecast what we're going to need, what we're going to use, and, and trying to hone in on uh, maintaining a stable budget. And again, I'll be bringing you a budget report uh, every week. If there's something in there that uh, needs to be fixed, we'll fix it. And let's see what else I have. Oh, uh, North Adams has a property, Nelson, you, I guess, are familiar with this, that they put out a request for proposal to sell that property. I uh, put uh, some general information on the front of this packet. Uh, it's an RFP that we could respond to, should we be interested in the property. I called and checked on the property. Most of it is, uh, as you know, is uh, wetland. And um, they did put the same RFP out last year, and no one bid. What is an RFP? Request for proposal. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that to you. So again, uh, Ron, if you'd pass that down to Nelson, I'm told you, you're familiar with that. Yeah, it's about 200 acres. <clears throat> it's up on Dummy Noble Road. That's where it is. It's a watershed. Yeah, a watershed. Beg your pardon, not a wetland. Not Thank you for the, and it's, for the and it's currently being logged. Yeah, it is, and I think it's about to the end of uh, what reasonably be logged, if I heard. Uh, I'm going to save IT for when uh, Chuck comes up. Uh, I want you to know that I've been uh, involved in trying, I've gotten on NEMRIC, our, our municipal system. Uh, I have a lot to learn. Uh, it, it costs money, uh, believe it or not, $30 generally per video. I'd like permission to expend uh, $30 or, or up to $100 for me to view some of these videos to become familiar. I'll take a motion for up to I 120. Motion. Oh, sorry. Because it's four of them. I do motion. We, do we need to? Well, you spend for under $100? You should make a motion that you're going to allow him to take those courses. Okay. Remember we said we were approving courses for okay. their video or okay, otherwise? Okay, correct. So correct. we got a motion. Okay, I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Which, which brings up the subject of uh, expending monies that weren't, we didn't count on. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to correct, and of course I simply violated it here. During the course of the year, anybody comes to me and says, we want, we want to buy X. And my plan is to say, okay, if you want to buy X, you can't buy Y. You have to make a decision. So we keep within the budget and we don't have a bunch of line item shifts. And again, those options will be for you. They'll, they'll come before you. When they come before us, I'm sorry to keep no problem. No, no, that's exactly when, what I want When they to come before us, when they're saying X or Y, basically what I'm assuming is that they're going to say, I want to expend this money, and it's going to come from this account 
to pay for this item. Correct. And and what you're looking for is if somebody says I'm going to do it on this item, but it doesn't match what the the item title is. Now let's say it's uh, office furniture, which would be in building Correct. maintenance and stuff. Instead, they're uh, going to blacktop the road, or they're going to do something different. And you want to make sure that they're in the right column is what you. Well, I want to make sure that uh, we're not just saying, oh, let's go get that and let's take it out of this fund. Yeah, later on. Right. We're going to be responsible for what we buy when we buy it. We're going to identify where we're going to take the money from and uh, make sure that the department heads uh, actually tell me, you know, the reason why they're spending that money and to make sure we hold that, that line item to within the budget. So if we make a decision to buy something, I want, I'd like to come in from the correct place in the budget and I want to make sure that if it wasn't planned on that we, for example, perfect example is IT. Some of the things that happened uh, since I've been here were not planned on. And if you look at how much, well, we haven't got the bills yet, but we're going to have to be austere in that line item. We simply had to do it, but we want to make sure that we tighten our buckle for the remainder of the year because we did spend money we didn't account for. Ronnie will be glad to hear that. He always wanted to know when the line was overspent and we had a difficult time of finding those things. Yeah, you're going to find it with me. And at the end of the year, we'd get just what you said, all this moving of money from point A to point B to sort of balance out. Uh, and what I'm hearing is is you're going to try to solve that problem so we don't have to uh, exactly. worry about it at the end of the year where we get 50 grand or something. Exactly. That's Thank exactly you. what I want to solve. Uh, a few more things. Uh, there's a grant opportunity coming out August 1st and it's a municipal project grant. Uh, I called the state and that doesn't align with uh, plans to uh, do a town hall. Uh, it mounts up to $22,000 award. There's a webinar on the first that I'll be watching to see if that does align. Uh, I'm meeting with uh, Mr. Tim Raymond and the Prudential Chair of the Palo Fire District, Ms. Dorothy Baker, uh, this next week, or I beg your pardon, August 6th. Uh, the gentleman wants to discuss water quality, and I'll be attending that meeting. He contacted me. Okay. And unless you have, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, have any questions, that's my report for the evening. Well, we thank you. And it sounds like yeah. uh, you've been right at it. So. Yes. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is in four days. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Uh, with that done, I'll move on, unless somebody has some questions for our administrator. Okay. Uh, IT, Chuck. Good evening. Um, with uh, at two meetings ago, I believe it was, we had a discussion about uh, web-based uh, domain-based domain email and uh, getting something going on that. We've taken and uh, gone through, and I have created an account with Rackspace. We've got uh, five mailboxes there that currently are free. They will start being charged for those five mailboxes uh, at the end of the month. Um, additionally, I've worked out a budget. Uh, Mike and I, or Michael and I, have had some conversations, and in the beginning, I was looking at Rackspace basic email for the for everybody. But Michael wants to use Microsoft uh, Outlook with all the features, have a uh, calendar that's shared among all the employees and things of that nature. So I'm recommending uh, that we get 10 hosted exchange mailboxes, which will cover the major employees of the town. And then we get whatever mailboxes we need, which are rack space mailboxes. Difference in cost. A hosted exchange mailbox is $7.99 plus $3 uh, for archiving. A standard rack space mailbox is two dollars per mailbox per month and three dollars per mailbox per month for archiving. And to meet uh, updated state requirements of course we need the archiving. 
So if we were to get 10 hosted exchange mailboxes and 30 rack space mailboxes, which would cover the list of, uh, we did, uh, has everybody seen this list that was generated? Okay. This is a list of nope. people, <clears throat> departments, and I can print copies and pass, get those out. I didn't realize you didn't have those. So let me just ask one question. So you're talking about 10, 10 boxes. 10 hosted exchange mailboxes. Okay, so that's the, the select board? That would... The department heads? That, and that's who has That would be the list the of people yeah. that is in this top group right here. Okay. And it would not include... The select board itself. The select board is such. It, we, we can, you know, add and take away mailboxes, okay? So that's what I'm trying to find out. Who needs what type of mailbox? Well, my question is that enough? That's 10 enough. I can add, though. If I need mind if I put, yes. uh, but in here, Chuck, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I asked him to reduce that number cost. Uh, it's coming out of the line item for office equipment and maintenance. Okay. And I thought I'd leave that to you whether you wanted to add that. And again, we're, this is unexpected. And I, what's the what's the cost, Chuck? I forgot, uh, for the whole thing. Three thousand one hundred eighteen dollars and eighty cents per year for so that would that's be, forty mailboxes. So okay. That's three thousand that three thousand number out of a sixteen thousand six hundred and fifty dollar line item for the budget. So day one, we're going to have to be be tight. Now, I'm willing to do that. I just wanted to give you the option because it's okay. money spent. I do recommend it. This is, I mean, this is the law. We we have to do it. We have. To, it's it was well, it was established in 2009, well, there's, and there's, there's a date by the well, time we have to have it done by. Right. There's two things. One is that build, it won't come out of building maintenance forever because it's not that. I think when you're building something and you you putting in phones and all the rest of that stuff, that's building maintenance. When you start talking about a structure that's going to be in place that really is for business performance, uh, it's a little different because that's an ongoing cost and it sounds to me like there should be a line item, if it isn't already in our budget, but a line item that basically talks about uh, this sort of stuff th that's providing us uh, computing services of some sort. I beg your pardon. I, if I said building maintenance, I had my finger on the wrong. It's office equipment and maintenance. But e even even that is not. Okay. That's not, yeah. Office equipment is again is phones, uh, things of that nature, computers. This is an ongoing cost to do business. Oh, that that's basically like man. Uh, well, in, in today's world, they're they're purchase services, okay? Uh, Microsoft is that going that way sense. completely, okay? So our next round of computers, we're probably going to have to take and start buying Microsoft Office on a monthly basis. We're going to end up, uh, all the companies in the world are going to paid services for their software and their products. Well, they're following what cable TV uh, did. So that you're going to pay a fee for each item that comes out is what's going to happen and it's going to be a monthly charge. Uh, Co correct, and we're going to end up having to put that into the budget, and we haven't was, had was those items up to now. But you're talking about, you said purchase services, and, and I guess the question is, is, uh, is that not something that we should be doing a line item for? Business expenses. Because it, it's, it's, it's different than maintenance. I agree. It, 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 if we're doing purchase services and it's required now for us to do that, we, we should be putting a line in. We'll, we'll be doing budgets here come December again, and put money in that we know what that cost is going to be. And it sounds like by December we'll know what this cost is going to be. Uh, initially, uh, it's one of those things that uh, all of us don't like, but it sounds like we're going to be taking that money from somewhere else. Yeah, I, I completely agree. There is no line item for that, and I completely agree that when we do the next budget that that be placed in, in the, a line item that will identify. Oops, keep that one. That's all right. these different services. Yeah, she didn't do color out there. That, that is, that's a great observation. You can um, add the color whichever one wants it. I don't make any difference here. I've got one. You got one? I'll take it. I'll take one. 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 <coughs> you got one down there already? Yes, I do. Okay. I'll take so one. Over here. One. Thank you. And we need to put that in the windows and the bars. Okay. 
can you just explain that the 10 uh, the, 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 what do they have that the other 20 or however many you said? well there, there's oh. 40 people or 40 basically 38 emails on this list currently of yeah. people that are involved with positions within the town yeah. uh, I took the first 10 the health officer would not need probably to have a Microsoft Exchange email because Jim doesn't use email very much and the animal control officer I'm not sure would either waste treatment road foreman and those people would uh, so th there's eight in that group and if we want to include the select board and other things we can they could start out with just regular mailboxes too they would be archived and stuff but they would not have the ability to do shared calendars and uh, things of that nature and that's your choice of who you need in that list got it it, so it's, it's okay. And this ties in with the social media policy to the extent that if someone, a citizen decides they want to chat, talk to me, they can do so. But uh, the privacy statement or the, or the statement of terms of use will pop up when they go in the email. It will say, here's the things you can and cannot do. And we administrate that. And if someone sends something uh, profane, we can, do, we can just delete it, send them a note saying it didn't meet the policy. And that help with that. Here's, here's where I'm at because of the open meeting laws. Anyone that's performing a function for the municipality needs to have their email archived. Right. Correct. Okay? And all these accounts would have that archived. So, so, so everyone here certainly would have to have an archive. They would. Uh, and basically... Uh, I'm saying that Jim and uh, Steve would have a regular Rackspace mailbox with archiving versus having a Microsoft Exchange mailbox which has all these added features. Well, I think people from the... Uh, I can speak for them and I don't know if they agree with me or not, but the Development Re Review Board, the Planning Board who has the number of meetings they have and the calendars that they have to try to keep versus up to date versus looking out here on a board and when they come in and out. Any of these group meetings like that uh, is certainly uh, something I would assume that they want the calendar feature of uh, being able to, to respond to it when the invitation goes out and they all can see who's going to make it and who isn't. There's, there's a lot of features there that uh, Exchange allows that I can see to an advantage to those people. It, it will take and push the cost up immensely, though, at this point in time. Well, as, as, yeah, well, we need to find out what that cost well, is, I the, guess. Well, if you took 40 times uh, $10.99, that would give you base, the basic cost. There's probably four mailboxes on here that don't need to be Microsoft Exchange if you want to do that, because these are your planning commission, your review board, your select board, and your employees I don't know that the select board needs it because we don't we don't refer to calendars I mean we meet no, regularly we would, rely, more the we would rely on Linda there or someone right. or Michael to keep keep up to date we would respond to him and then he would make, make that what okay. about the whoever. chair of the DRB and the Planning Commission maybe the chair and the vice chair as a uh, or do, do you think all the members need to be on that oh, do they, just, are there I, I, I use, the, I use those features. I okay, know. well, that's... Uh, uh, you know, I'm an exchange user at work, and basically what happens is somebody will send out a request for a meeting, and we get to respond and say yes or no whether we can meet it. And if we can't, then sometimes another request will come out, and, and then it, once you say yes, it pops up on your calendar automatically. You don't have to go into your calendar yeah. and try to remember to put it there. Mm -hmm. It's done. And then, and then your calendar is put where you can see what your next thing is if you got enough things going on. I'm just trying to think, yeah, I know they do this now, and maybe maybe their secretary will be enough to do that, that they can send the regular email and then come back to the secretary, and the secretary keeps everything informed so they all know. That's sort of the way they do it now. Uh, I'm just... I'm not sure about the, the Microsoft and, like, uh, the calendar, but I'm wondering, like, we have an uh, emergency management director, coordinator, that oversees our emergency response plan for the town, which is continually updated, and everybody's. In, I wonder if that may fall under here. That's the only one I didn't see. Well, I'm just sure. a thought. Just I don't thought know. That, to, didn't know that okay. person or anything to okay. add to the list. No one okay. has mentioned yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. And the, yeah. I guess uh, 
where I'd come from and this is, is I'd, I'd like to give a little more thought I guess is where I'm at. I, I know what the ease of exchange is. I don't know that much about rack space, uh, but I'm more than willing to get some more information on it. Uh, is Rackspace strictly an archiving function? Is that what it does? No, uh, Rackspace hosts the email accounts, okay? okay? And they also do the archiving. So it's all right there. They have uh, spam filtering and... Well, uh, yeah, but what other features do they offer besides the email and the archiving of the email? Oh, the they have a lot of other products in their line. Uh, I don't have all that in my mind right now because I had, wasn't focusing on it. Yeah. Uh, they have cloud, you know, file storage and all yeah. types of stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I do. I do agree. I think all all these things are going to be an ongoing cost, and they're going to take and uh, ramp up the cost as time goes on. So the choice in how we do this uh, will have a, an impact for a long time to come. So that's why I. Give it a little thought. Is, is, um, can I ask a question? Is, is the <coughs> rack space, if we were to put the the ones that on the out, uh, the, the 10 and then the rack, uh, others on rack space, can you transfer them into the other at some point if we yes. realize we need yes. it? Yes. Sure. So it might be worth starting this way at the uh, lower cost and seeing if there's something we're here's, missing. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dump this on our town administrator to come back and, and, and chat and see and it, by then you'll get a little more information about what our boards do not just the select board but the drb and the planning and the and the other type of committees we might have uh and what you feel is appropriate for whether it's just the archival we need or whether we need a calendar for them or other features that exchange has which has a lot lot more uh, and give us a recommendation and explain why that recommendation is being made versus us trying to debate it here tonight and make a decision tonight I think what we need to hear is is uh, a good reason why we should only do ten, or a good reason why we should do more. I totally I agree. agree. I'll do that for you. Thank you. So, moving okay. on to the next thing. Okay. And the other thing was just the uh, what phone number we publish for the phone system, and uh, there's a the list of numbers that we have, and you have a sheet on that, right? I might have a sheet. I I think think yeah, there's a list of numbers we post on our website. Is that what you're yeah, talking? there's, there's there was, but when we take and we're going to activate the automated attendant, okay? Okay. So everybody, I will be creating a hunt group with all the incoming lines, and that group will be used, or a trunk group, and those, any one line can be used for an outgoing call or will be used for incoming calls. They'll come into the automated attendant, they'll just have to select from the five or six options in the automated attendant and they'll be transferred to that extension. Okay, so basically you look at, it's a phone tree type operation. Yeah, it's the, the standard uh, voicemail that we all use. And yeah. the, the choices were we had two separate phone numbers that we had talked about before, and I'm just trying to put my finger on that, which is right there. The one with the 939 prefix, Chuck, we, we selected. Yeah, uh, we installed an additional line so that we had a line that we could use in the beginning. That's 802-949-7071. And that doesn't have the 823 office code in it. Um, we have a fax line that uh, is 802-823-0. Uh, one six one one or one six one six one 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 or something. six yeah, one something one like one that, or yeah. something like that. Well, I don't have that number in front of me, but um, that number gets used for incoming calls, basically from f the to the fax machine, and doesn't receive an awful lot of calls. We could take the nine four nine number, put that on the fax machine and tell everybody that that's the fax number, which is not a big task because of the number of faxes that come in today are very few compared mm -hmm. to email. And we could take that uh, 8230116 and use that as the main phone number, published phone number for the Town of Pano offices. What's the, what's the purpose? The, the, purpose the, the recommendation I have is that as Chuck stated, we very rarely use fax 
and we had to switch the numbers around because I, I need a number. So we chose the the uh, 823 prefix for me and chose the outlier, the 929, for the fax machine because we know that it's not, not used a ton and we wanted to keep the consistency between those lines. So functionally, that's, that's the only change. Yeah, I'm just, you know, a lot of things published out there already to a lot of people, lawyers and so forth, these faxes, someone they're recording things and so forth, even though it's not used a lot because you're right, everything now comes through email or that way. Uh, I just want to make sure that we... Uh, well, if we're going to change, we're also changing our emails. I mean, that's all going to be, it's going to be a big change mm -hmm. for all of our communications, I think. Can, can you, if you put that number on and the, the people are going to get a menu when they call the 823 number? Yes. They, the one, they, two, three, so you could say, if you're faxing. We could add that to the... Change, you know, fax it to this our, number. Our new fax number is, and it could right. be right in that message if you'd yeah. like. Yes. Because that way if somebody or, is calling... <coughs> Our numbers have changed <laughs> recently, so I'm sorry, I couldn't help but do that one. You always get that. Um, pay attention because our numbers have changed. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, uh, you typically get that. But <coughs> it, it seemed like the common sense thing to do is to take that number that's an outlier and just so we have a commonality. So, okay, it's. Uh, I just want to make sure that the we find the best way to let the public know. And I like the fact that when they call in, <coughs> Please be aware that our phone numbers have changed, so you'll need to listen carefully or whatever. It'll go out on the, it'll go out on, our, on the web. And perhaps on the website, on the website, you could well. also list um, what the extensions go to so that people can look Correct. ahead of time. Yes. And they yeah. don't yeah. Could, my number's not on the safe. website, so we waited until that, so they put me on the website, <coughs> and then we'll put a general notice out to the public, and we can highlight that in some fashion. Okay. So when a person calls into the, to here now, what number would they call in on? They, they would be calling the 823-0116. And they, then they would get the tree. Then they would get the tree. And at that point, they would pick who they wanted to contact. And this tree will be how long? Would it be just a lister's number, a treasurer number, a administrative assistance number, administrator? Uh, you know, some of these trees that I call sometimes I get a little frustrated with because and I want to make sure you understand I am a big proponent somebody's here pick up the phone yeah. human being I wanted to use that that bloody thing as little as possible I pick up the phone when it calls if it's for a lister I take a message you know and, and tell them I don't want public call, calling up every time they call up to get this phone free and we're ignoring them pick up the phone that's an admonition I make to make the staff uh, yeah, because to me that's what what I would prefer, human voice. Uh, and so basically if somebody calls this number, if somebody is around here, they, they'll push a button on their phone and pick up the call and say, Correct. how can I help you? Pick up the phone, button twice, they've got the call. Got okay, then they can forward to the lister. Absolutely. Says, yeah. They put on park and then they send it to whoever. Okay, I'm okay with that. I just. I just know that some phone trees I get on, you get to the point you get frustrated after yeah. you heard about the 15th. And yeah. did you want yellow or green or red? Yeah. 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 I think so. So what would happen to the existing lines they have now? We would Th those are used in the incoming call group in order to be able to handle the incoming and outgoing calls. Okay. Okay. They'll, be, they'll be put into a group. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Got in trouble. So someone can still call one of those numbers and it's going to and take him it's going to get here perfect and what's the cost to do all of this uh, phone line wise do we pay a higher fee for the number of phone lines no we, we we're paying the fee for the phone lines already that won't change it's just calling comcast making the change on that end making the change in the pbx or the phone system and it will be functioning okay What's your thoughts, guys? You all okay with that? I am. Yeah. Okay, Ronnie. Two. Repeat that number. Would you finish? <clears throat> Let me make it's uh, eight zero two eight two three zero one one six. Eight zero two eight two three zero one one six. Right. Yes. <clears throat> 
That's the so the only the only other number. If you so call that tonight, folks, you're going to get the facts. The only other two. <laughs> <laughs> the other, Just kidding. The, other, the only other two numbers we would have we would have the wastewater treatment plant number. Correct. Mm -hmm. And we'd have the highway department. And uh, the transfer station. Yes. Transfer cell station to cell. So they would be it's separate a, numbers. Those are separate be, numbers so they, because they, they, they don't come through so here. I know, we've, I know we've talked about it in the past. This is more for us than, than you. But in the wintertime, when someone calls with a concern or, or a road problem, they're calling in on an answering machine. And our guys are out on routes plowing. Um, I'm wondering if somehow if someone calls the highway garage and there's no answer, can that be rerouted to here? Actually, if they call the highway... Uh, they get uh, Joel, and the key catches that on his cell phone. Yeah, uh, but boards to his cell and phone. And we took it. Yeah, is, I, I read. Is that something new? Uh, I don't know. But every time I call him, okay, it just jumps. Well, the okay. it depends what number you list. Okay, if you list the office number, there's an answering machine on it. Right. If you call a cell phone, he has that with him. Ninety. Nine, 99 percent. So we would call him on a cell phone. The public yeah, correct. Wouldn't. The yeah. public wouldn't. Today I re recorded. I set up another answering machine over there because his answering machine was causing a lot of static and oh, stuff. So okay. we took one of the ones out of here that we took out when we put the phone system in and took it over there and I set it up and uh, included in his message his cell number. Okay. If it's an emergency, please call eight zero two. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yep. Okay. That's okay. Good. So that will be there. Okay. Any other questions? Move Sounds forward good. with this, guys. You're yeah. all in agreement, right? Mm -hmm. Make it happen. Any other questions, Ronnie? No. Okay, that's all. Make it, it, make it happen. happen. Okay. Right, we'll do Great job. On, on the email, we'll try to make a decision soon. Yeah. Okay. We already appointed okay. the planning commission. Uh, municipal website content electronic. Communication policy, you passed that all already, so we're not going to, we got to review that. Uh, board project list, does anybody have a project list? I have it here. Uh, I, unfortunately, I only have one copy. Please, thanks. There's actually two project lists, yeah. and both have been written on. I marked off some that were completed or in progress. Yep. While he's doing that, can we talk about the truck traffic on South Stream, Barbers Pine Road? While he's making copies for us for the other, yes. Yes, uh, uh, Joel and I met with the uh, with the owner of the company, and they're working it out through their insurance. What's happening is those trucks uh, that uh, they're going over Barber's Pond and going around the court, the up off of seven, going around those corners. They're pushing the pavement out. It's quite obvious. He acknowledged it, so we're working through uh, how they're going to pay for that through insurance to finish uh, fixing that. Good. Okay, sounds good. Project was coming. Do you want uh, want to talk about the town hall while we're waiting for that? Sure. Have something you want to bring up to us? Yeah, an update. I met with uh, Michael this morning and we discussed it. And actually, I gave him a copy of the petition that we've written up and the reasons for the petition, which is a separate sheet. And there's 16 reasons on there. And I don't know, Michael, do you have your copy? I didn't bring no, it with me. I apologize. I don't have it on me. Let me okay. see if it's in my basket. Okay. But what we also um, have <coughs> right now is the first go round from preferred builders. And they've sent me uh, the plans that they've done. And I'm actually in the process right now of making a few critiques on them. And um, I actually, I'm going to meet with Tom Shuey tomorrow. Tom. Shuey. And Tom is really, Tom has done some very major jobs. Uh, as a general contractor when he was in Pennsylvania and I've worked with him before. And I want him to just go over this as well, see if he picks up anything that I've missed. And uh, so this is just the second go around. Um, but um, what I have done is um, Michael was concerned that uh, about inspections. And so I called uh, preferred builders today, and uh, they gave me the two 
inspection companies that they use so that by the time the building gets here, it's fully inspected. Uh, w uh, one of the inspection companies is, um, it is <coughs> approved by the, and it's cited in the International Building Code. And the other one is in the International Accreditation Service. So those, and for municipal building, you have to have third party inspections. So by the time they get here, they're fully inspected. And another thing that Michael brought up today was he asked me if there was info technology in this building. And so what we can get from preferred builders is a Cat5 phone wire in the rooms, or we can get RG6 cabling, and or we can have PVC conduits into the walls, and we can, uh, with a box with cover plates, and we can run our own, our own wires. And uh, I am not up on this stuff. I don't know which of these you folks would feel that was most uh, meaningful. I, or if either, is the Cat5 phone wire, does, would that be adequate? Sure. You would use Cat5 for telephones, yes. Yeah. You would use Cat6 in a new building for computers. So you need, okay. so you need one of each. One in of the, each. Into each jack in each room. Oh, okay. Good. You have to have Cat5 and Cat6. So, at this point, we'll just ask how much it's going to cost because it would be the, it probably a lot less expensive for them to do it than for us to do it as an afterthought. You know, a single drop point for all those? Yes. So basically when you run them into the room, you need to come back to a center, wherever you're going to put the wherever server. Wherever the phone system, the servers, and other things are going to go, your so that, resources. So that if they've done it in the past, so no, but basically yeah. the reason why I'm stating this is each room will have to go back to a centralized point. Usually but, called an equipment room. Okay, and, and since we're having a full foundation, we can just go right downstairs. Is that would be that good, or should we? We could run it to the uh, office supply room. That's central. <coughs> What's going on? How much equipment you're going to have in it? To, because you're going to have to keep this well, climatized in some way. Uh, well, we can build a small room in the basement for utility costs if we had to. So it's probably better to drop it to one place. But what we need to do is make sure there's power and other things there too because once you do that you're going to have this utility room you're going to have servers and you're going to have phone systems so you're going to have to have electrical type services there in the basement as well where you drop these does it i mean don't you think it makes most sense to do it that way in the well, basement mm -hmm. yeah sure. okay. as, long, as long as it's climate controlled you've got to keep the humidity down you've got to take and keep the temperature controlled yeah. at what kind of temperature are you talking well, what you got to do is just seventy do, or sixty or what? Well, if, most most computer rooms are somewhere in the seventy is fine. You, you're not going to get much higher than that. Okay. But that's where you want to keep that. But that, this, but you got to realize you got heat generators. These things are going to generate heat. They're like furnaces. So basically, you got to have uh, some sort of HVAC to control both the humidity and the air conditioning. And usually, you can buy a small unit that does that sort of stuff. Okay. I mean, would it be helpful if? Since you know about this, Chuck, if you looked at the plans and thought and figured out what would be the rest of the best location. And a drop. And a, for a drop. I'll take a look at them and see if I can determine that. Oh, that would be helpful. Thank yeah, you. Because you're going to need a certain the, amount of power there and so forth. Too. Okay. Um, and you're going to probably be protected in some way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for the selectman's room. It would be the same sort of thing, the same. I mean, I didn't know what to do about the selectman's room. Well, do know, we we put outlets in the floor where your table well, is? Well, if you're going to have wireless in the building, you probably can get away in the selectman room with uh, a few drops, but not, you don't need one for every selectman. What you need is if they're going to come in and it's based on how what, what's going to be performed within that room. You know, are we going to basically have a 
projector type thing there where we're going to present something at some type, things of that nature, then it makes a difference on what we need for drops. Because a drop would have been what we're going to have the projector and so forth. So. Can you guys, is, or can your, can this board think about that and let me know? <laughs> oh, that's Chuck too? Okay. All right. Good. All right. You can tell you pretty much when he looks at the rooms and what they are, what the drops are. Okay. A single office is going to need a single drop. You know, one power. You're going to have power, but you're also going to have a drop to the phone and a drop to the uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Good. I thought maybe you just want to see, uh, this is there, the picture that they gave. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the front, the back. The back isn't exactly right. I have to fix it a bit. And, um, but anyways, what else? This is a, they call this the dollhouse view. <laughs> so it's just, and uh, so, uh, okay. So that's, oh, did you happen to find that? Yes, I passed it around. Oh, good. Okay. Um, I am intrigued with the last <laughs> statement on this. And I think it's really helpful. This one. Is this the only copy? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It, I didn't realize is, that. Is that, is there a number 16 on there that has a <coughs> blank space? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you read that, please? The difference is 6,482, which is amounts to per one, and it's a question on per 100,000 valuation space, which you're looking at. But because we have been setting aside 20,000 each year already, <coughs> and a, and a loan at a 4% interest for 20 years, uh, it's an estimate, it's just an estimate. I came up with 26000 So the, all we really have to raise that we haven't been is like 6000 a year, which on a $100,000 valuation is like minuscule. Well, I know you've given estimates and stuff on here, but as, you, as we told you before, and we'll be going out to bid here, I think, pretty quick. We should, anyways, if yes. we're going to run this thing. And then basically, at that point, we'll have better figures, uh, and they might come in lower. We don't know. Oh, they might. You never know, you know? <laughs> so, so the bottom line is is that uh, until we have them, it's hard to predict what taxes are going to be or aren't going to be. We, we need to take in... Uh, don't get people uh, hope up on something that we don't really realize yet. And we need to... So we need to get the, that information and do it. And I think that's... Uh, Falls in some of our belly wicks here, but other than that, uh, you know, you got your things here, and uh, basically you can make a list of that. Okay, but we need to get the petition signed, yeah. and we have, and we don't have a whole lot of time to do it. Uh, we're hoping to pick up a whole lot of signatures oh, at yes, the panel picnic. So therefore, um, we need to have uh, our number. We think our number it, it's 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 doable, okay. and I've got most. I've got some quotes. I've got most all the quotes. Uh, by bidding it, maybe we can get it for less. But I think we can make that number let me, work. Let me see the petition. Especially when you're when you're saying bidding, we're going to yeah. bid this out as a total project. No, no. Because we already have preferred builders as our modular core, and they're about the best that well, you they'll can. Get a, they'll get a chance to bid just like everybody else. Now you can do a preferred yeah. uh, on what we want. We can use the specifications they use, and then see if anybody else bids besides them. Okay. But to be fair, what we need to do is have their specs, and then it's, we'll bring an RFP that has their specs and say this: we're looking for a quote for this building, and then at that point. The modular home builders around here can take and put their quote in, and if they're giving you a good price, they're certainly going to beat the rest because it's it's where it is. Uh, what did the petition actually say? We, the undersigned voters of the town of Pownall, hereby petition the select board to call a special town election in September 2018 to vote on the following article: Shall Pownall appropriate the sum of six hundred thirty eight hundred sixty eight thousand dollars? for a new town hall constructed with modular core and combined with town-owned 
1840s one-room schoolhouse to be located on a town-owned Bartow property on Center Street. Okay. And you had the attorney help you with that? Paul Gillis did it okay. for me. Okay. So. Okay. so uh, I, I, I gotta be honest with you, I'm confused. Yeah. So how how do we how so we're gonna only we're only gonna bid out the modular part? How do we no, bid out the rest of the No, window? no. We have to bid it all. No, if we have to bid it all out, I'll write it up. You folks have to approve what I'm written and then you have to be the one I'm understanding to put it in the paper or wherever you put it. That's right. And uh, so that needs to be done ASAP. So I'll do that ASAP. Okay, sounds good. Okay. So I th guess that's all. Okay. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, any other questions come home before we move on? No? Okay. Thank well, you, Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. You're welcome. Right, 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 right. Okay, board project list. We got your this scribbles on here too, so. Oh, this is mine. <laughs> Which one would you like us to look at first? Actually, uh, these were never completely addressed to me. These are copies that were given to me. My assumption was that you folks are going to review that and either put, put me to task or modify them however you see fit. Yeah, that's my. This is my handwriting. This part. Yeah, th there was two lists, and uh, I, I didn't know came <laughs> how one came and the other. Where the other one? Well, ended this up. one is a consolidation is of, of several years. We brought this up each year. We we start at the beginning of a new year with new board members. We try to bring everybody up to speed on where we were. That was the reason why I brought it up this year. I'm with with Bob and Jenny getting on board and yeah. trying to address some of these issues. So these notes down the side were just my notes to myself. So you can uh, you, sure, you, no you problem. Can ignore any of that because I don't even remember what. And then on the other sheet, <laughs> those marks are mine. And I just actually started that looking at that. Okay. Yeah. Could, I think we also <clears throat> talked about the last time we spoke. I think correct me if I'm wrong, Ronnie, but trying to prioritize some of them because we had yeah, such a lot. Yeah, that was what we were talking. That's well. Yeah, that was mentioned. <laughs> Put it better, put it in order, whatever order we thought was best. Right. Well, <laughs> you know how I want to hand things off. Uh, have you had a chance to look at these yet, Michael? Yes, I looked at them. Uh, some of them I need further information. I've got to find out what's been done so far, points of contact, things of that nature. Obviously, the new town office, we've just heard about that. Uh, town policy updates, that's in progress. Um, Got to be hard to say when that's done per se because every year they're going to be reviewed. There'll be a mode on the calendar to review policies every year. Actually, if the policy is a high risk policy, then it'll be reviewed at, at a, like a, every quarter, every year, depending on. Well, well, let me tell you where I was going with this. All right. I was going with this to have you look at these two things, and if you need to talk to some of us or something, they'd do that. But I'd uh, like you to come back being new to the town and looking at it, just like you just talked about the policies, some of them could be very important and need to be done right away, and provide us with a, what you think are the priority lists down the line, and then we, and that's after talking to some of us, if he wishes to make some phone call, we at that point can tell them why we think there's something else that should be moved around or up. Otherwise, we're going to sit here and you argue about what you think is priority and I'll argue about what I'm priority, and that, so uh, we'll give you some homework. No problem. Uh, as I said, I just recently saw these, so I haven't had a lot of time to digest them. So well, I, you, I used to make this to-do list every year in March. Okay. Okay. And some of it, from what I can see on here, still pertains, and some probably doesn't anymore. And uh, what we need to do is uh, have you go down that list because there might be things we're not thinking about that still pertain to some things I think that don't anymore. Like the large gathering ordinance is done. Thank you. Oh, it is? Yeah, that can be crossed The out. road reclassification. We did a couple of those. There's still a couple more. Uh, the forest management plan, I understand we had an update last week on that. Uh, the town attorney. Um, we've hired a new town attorney. I'm not sure about the other issues on there. But. So I'll go through both of these and I'll get some modifications, updates. And, 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 we'll and don't hesitate to get and may add a few to ask yeah. us. Ask us if you have some concerns. Okay. Any more on that? Move on. 
Okay. Uh, gravel purchase. This is something for executive session. Is the personnel also in executive yes, yes. session? Okay. <coughs> Anything else to be talked about before we go into executive session? If not, I'll take a motion to go into executive session for gravel purchase first. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. aye.